and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to extract data from images in Airtable using AI. You'll extract specific data such as the name, email, and job title from pictures of business cards. So as you can see, I have already uploaded some business cards here so that we can just get started immediately. So what you'll want to do is create your Airtable base. And in order to do this, you want to title your table as business cards just up here by double clicking, retitle that, and then create a business card field with the type attachment, and then simply upload the images to the business card field. Now we're going to create a new grid view. So over to the left hand side, we're going to select this plus button next to grid, and then we're going to title this as needs data. Select create new view. And now we want to add some conditions. So up here in the menu, select filter, select add condition twice. And we want for this to read where name is empty and business card is not empty. So we're going to use this view to extract data from the business cards that don't have information in the table. So now that the table is set up, we're we're going to connect to OpenAI using the data fetcher extension. So over to the right hand side, you'll see this extensions option, select add an extension, and then the following screen will load. And up here in the search bar, you're going to search for data fetcher, just like so. When that pops up, select add, select add extension. And now you can either create a free data fetcher account, or you can simply continue with Google. Now it's time to import our data. So select create your first request. And under application, we're going to search for OpenAI. So under authorization, you will will need your OpenAI API key. So in order to find where this is, you can simply click on the click here button and that will bring you directly to where your API keys live. And now you can simply create new secret key like so and copy that key over back to your Airtable base to paste it into this API key input box. Now under endpoint, we're going to select create chat message completion and then we want to retitle this request. So we're going to retitle this as fetch image data, just like so. Then we can select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner and we'll arrive to the following screen. So under model, we want to select GPT-40 mini and under messages, we want to input extract data from this business card. Now we need to reference the business card field. So over to the right hand side, you'll have a plus symbol here. And in the dialogue that opens, we want for the table to be selected as business cards. And for the field, we want business card. Now for run for every record in view, this should be set as needs data. Now you can select confirm and those options will now save and you can see that information now in this input box. Now we're going to add the rest of the instructions. So you want to press shift here and then press enter so that you can move down to the next line. And then for the following information, we need to copy a piece of code that you can find on our data fetcher blog on this exact topic. You'll just need to scroll down until you can find that just here. Here we are. So you can see this code and then we're going to select the copy button, which copies all of it over. We're going to bring it back to our Airtable base and now you're going to paste it into this messages input box, just like so. Now you want to press enter to add the message. As you can see, this has now created a little box around all of that information. So it's all connected in there. So what we're doing here is asking OpenAI to extract the name, the job job title and the email address from the business card, which we attached by referencing the business card field in the needs data view. We then ask it to return the results in JSON format so that data fetcher can process them properly. Finally, we give it the output format where we specify the data that we want from the images. So you can use the format above to extract data from other images as long as they have the structured data. Then we're going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Now, as you can see, these fields are now being created. Now we arrive at the response field mapping. And this is where we can decide which fields we would like to have included in our Airtable base. So data fetcher did actually return lots of different fields here, but we are only interested in the name, contact and job title fields. So you'll notice how this now has JSON in front of these fields and data fetcher automatically added this prefix because we instructed OpenAI to return a JSON response in the message we created earlier. So we're wanting to import these fields, but in order to begin, we're going to select deselect all to turn all of them off. Then we want to select the following fields and use the mapping like so. So we want to turn on JSON name and we're going to map this to an existing field and we're going to select the name fields from that drop down menu. Then we're going to go for JSON job title. We're going to turn this on and we're going to map this to a new field and simply retitle this as job title. Then for the JSON contact email, we are again going to map this to a new field and we're going to title this simply as contact email. Now select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, these fields are now going to be imported into our Airtable base. Select show output table. You can close this little side window over and we're going to head back to the grid view. Now you can see that information has been automatically extracted from the business cards, which is so cool. So you may want to extract the data automatically whenever you add new images to your table. And in this case, you can check
check out our blog, like I mentioned before, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can find out more about our data fetcher triggers feature here. Triggers will automatically run the request when data changes in your table, saving you time to do other things. So you can learn about that here. And if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com or check out our full length blog on this topic as well, if you prefer to learn that way. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.